The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, fourth chapter, text number ten, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March 30th, 1974, in Bombay, India. <coughs> मनमया माम उपासिता बहवो ज्ञान तपसा तूता मत भावम आवत दिस इज द परफेक्शन ऑफ लाइफ मत भावम प्रश्न से बुधा भाव समन्वित दे जनदर वर्षन इन भगवत गीता बुधा भाव समन्वित वर इज द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द बाय अहम सर्वस्व प्रभव मत सर्व प्रवर्तते मत्या भजंते माम बुधा भाव समन्वित दिस इज भाव ओ कृष्ण इज सो ग्रेट वेन वन अंडरस्टैंड greatness of krishna how great he is uh, because people do not understand they generally speak god is great that is very good at least one accepts god is great but how he is great and what is the extent of his greatness uh, if we understand then our regard and reverence for krishna increases just that like we have got some friends but if we know the opulence of the friend how great he is he may be a very big man very big in his magnet or minister if we know then our oh you have got such a nice friend similarly we should try to understand krishna जन्म कर्म में दिव्यम जो जाना थी तत् इन दीवियस वर्ड इट एज बीन से तत् नॉट सुपरफिशियल इफ यू स्टडी कृष्णा सुपरफिशियली देन आई शैल एक्सेप्ट अनदर रास्टल कॉम्पिटिटर ऑफ कृष्णा बिकॉज यू डू नॉट नो व्हाट इज कृष्णा मूढ़ा अब जानती मांग मूढ़ा therefore in the chaitanya chaitamrita it has been described siddhanta boliya chitte nakaro alas ya hoite krishna lage sudhira manas siddhant how great krishna is uh, <coughs> for example uh, Uh, in the Brahma Sangita, the greatness of Krishna is described. Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamam. If we study Brahma Sangita, Ekapasu Rachetam Jagadanna Koti, Jatshakti Rasti Jagadanna Chayaja Dantam. अंडातरस्थंग परमाणुशयांतरस्थंग गोविंद मादिपुरुषम तमाह दिस इज अनदर एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ कृष्ण ग्रेटनेस दैट बाई इज वन प्लेनरी एक्सपेंशन एक पशु रचे वन प्लेनरी एक्सपेंशन इज मेंटेनिंग द होल मेटीरियल क्रिएशन एक पशु रचे just to create this material world one plenary expense ekappasura chetum jagadanna koti not only one but millions of jagadanna universes by is one plenary in bhagavad gita also it is called pan atma bahu naitena kingyati na tabarjana bishchapya aham ekanshena stitu yoga Ekansin, one mind plenary portion, uh, 
महाविष्णु फॉर क्रिएशन ऑफ दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड एकांशी नुज एंड वॉट इज दैट एकांश दैट इज डिस्क्राइब आउट जो सहित निश्वसित काल मथावलंब जीवंती लोम विलजा जगदनंदना था लोम विलजा एंड इनिमारिबुल इनवर्सेस आर कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम दी हेयर होल्स ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ महाविष्णु निश्वसित काल मथाव इज ब्रीदिंग He is within the current ocean, causal ocean. He is sleeping. Jab karana na bajali, bajati isma jo nidra, jo nidra. And while he is sleeping in his jo nidra, any variable, any viruses are coming out through his breathing and from the hair holes. Can you stop that child? <coughs> so this is greatness of Krishna. This Mahavishnu is only Kala Vishesha. Vishnu Mahaja Iha Jasa Kala Vishesha. Kala means portion of the plenary portion. That is called Kala. Amsa means plenary portion, and Kala means uh, so all the incarnation of Vishnu and Krishna described in the Shrimad Bhagavat Bhagavatam, uh, first canto, third chapter, and at the conclusion it is said. इति च अंश कला पुंस कृष्णस्तु भगवान स्वयं कृष्ण नेम इज ऑल्सो देयर बैट जस्ट टू मेक डिस्टिंगशन विथ इन ऑल दी अवतार एंड कृष्ण इट इज कंक्लूडेड ए थे ऑल ऑफ दैम आर च अंश सम ऑफ दैम आर प्लेनरी पोर्सन सम ऑफ दैम पोर्सन ऑफ दी प्लेनरी पोर्सन इन दिस दे आर सिचुएटेड But the name Krishna, which is there, Krishna is to Bhagavan Swayam. That is stated. So we have to study. If we are serious student of Krishna, then in the shastras everything is there. So when we understand the greatness of Krishna. Uh, then we become more attached, uh, more attached. The greatness attracts. Uh, suppose a man is very uh, exalted position, he attracts the attention. Similarly, if we know the greatness of one who does not know the greatness of Krishna, he thinks Krishna yes, that Kupa Mandu Karna, Doctor Frog. मे वी लिटल ग्रेटर देन मी दर्शन अब जानती मांग मूरा सच पर्सन थिंग्स कृष्णा हैज वन ऑफ दैम एंड दैट फॉर इट हैज बिकम ए वेरी फैशनेबल थिंग टू बिकम कृष्ण अवतार वेरी चीपली नो दे डू नॉट नो एक्चुअली वट इज कृष्ण पोजिशन कृष्ण पोजिशन If one understands, then he is liberated person. Tapta di ham punar janmanai si maami si. He is liberated person, even in this body. Simply by knowing how great Krishna is. Simply by knowing this fact, how Krishna, then one understands that matta sarvang pravartati. इति मत्ता भजनते माँ देन आवर भजन फॉर कृष्णा सर्विस वी बिकम वेरी मच फिक्स्ड आ एंड डिटर्मिन बुद्धा भावो समन्विता दिस इज भाव भाव मेंस वन कैन अंडरस्टैंड वेरी इजीली व्हेन यू आर फुली कॉन्सेस ऑफ समथिंग ग्रेटनेस ओ कृष्णा इज सो ग्रेट देन इस कॉल्ड भाव Uh, that can be understood. It is not very difficult because in the shastras everything is there. 
about Krishna. Simply we have to take it, accept it. Uh, and if we do not uh, believe Shastra, then there is no uh, I mean, use of understanding Krishna. Uh, Shastra cha khusya. We have to see Krishna is adokhaya, beyond the perception, sense perception. But through this shastra, we can understand little bit of Krishna. It is very difficult to know. We cannot understand Krishna is unlimited. We are limited. Still, whatever limited power we have got, we can understand Krishna if we follow the shastra, sadhu, and guru. Sadhu, shastra, guru, bhakta, tinete, koriya, vikta. So this bhava stage has to be attained. It is not that artificially we come to the bhava stage. No. Vitarāga bhaya krūdha manmaya maam upāsita. These are the qualities. Krishna is personally saying. Not all of a sudden we can understand Krishna. Vitarāga, the first qualification is uh, to be detached from our present qualification is we are too much attached to this material uh, sense enjoyment. Uh, material life means sense enjoyment. Uh, therefore, we have to reduce the sense enjoyment by tapasya. Tapasya, sense enjoyment is not controlled. Uh, all of a sudden, tapasā uh, brahmacadjena, tyagena, sautasam, sautena, jamena, niyamena, these are the statements. But if you take uh, the devotional service, then everything becomes very easy to follow, tapasā uh, brahmacadjena. It's like we are advising our student uh, not to have illicit sex, uh, no meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling. This is tapasya, because everyone is prone to all these things. Everyone likes illicit sex. Everyone likes to eat meat. Loke babaya amisabhadda seva nityastu jantu. Jantu. Jantu means animal or ignorant person. A person who has no knowledge, he is also a jantu, animal. So, babaya ami samadva seva, sex life and meat eating, amisha, and madva seva, intoxicant, and natural tendency. Pravitti reshan bhūtāna. This is pravitti. They have got inclination. That is material life. Āmiṣa madhya seva. But they have to be controlled by tapasya. That is tapasya. If because I have got this inclination, I have got a desire to drink or have uh, intoxication, therefore I shall take it. Uh, there is a Bengali song, Choke jadi lage bhalo, kano dekbona. If I, my eyes like to see it, why shall I not see it? This is sense in general. Uh, this is animalism. But when you can control them, that is humanity. Therefore laws are meant for the human being, not for the animals. I have several times explained. Uh, when there is law on the street, keep to the left. It is meant for the human being, not for the cats and dogs and cows. Say, if the cat, dog goes to the left or right against the uh, police direction, he is not punished because he is animal or a child if he trespasses. But if an adult person trans, uh, transgresses the law, he will be punished. The human life has got responsibility. What is that responsibility? Tapasya. 
get it to say it. Jnana tapasa puta. Very far. Jnana, knowledge and tapasa. Then he is purified. And not that you can do whatever you like. It has nothing to do with religion. There are so many rascals program. You can eat anything, you can do anything, and still you become a Vedantist. This kind of rascal Vedantists are going on. But here it is said by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Jnana Tapasa. Jnana Tapasa Puta Madhavam. Without knowledge, without Tapasa, you cannot make any spiritual progress. Not by simple words. That is not possible. Because in the previous verse it has been said that Janma Karma me Dibbam Ju Jana Titattata Takta Dehang Punar Janma Naiti Ma Me Titam. So how one can come to Krishna? Ma Me Titam. That is being described. The Vitorāga Bhaya Krodha. Vitorāga Bhaya Krodha Manmaya Ma Mupāsita. Ma Mupāsita. To take shelter of Krishna. To become a devotee of Krishna, to become Krishna conscious. Uh, therefore, we are canvassing. We are going to door to door, country to country, continent to continent, city to city, village to village. Please become Krishna conscious. We are teaching them uh, how you can be happy. Vitarāga bhaya krodha. How you can be a man of knowledge? That is our business. It is not very difficult. The examples are here. These Europeans, American boys and girls, four or five years ago, they are different persons. But how they have taken to it? People are surprised. Because they have followed what you have said according to the Shastra. They have followed and they are following. They are trying to follow sincerely. Therefore they are making progress. So anyone who will follow these principles, how to come to the stage of bhāva, buddha-bhāva samanit. There is process. Rupa Goswami has said, how to come to the stage of bhāva. Bhāva means just the immediate stage before uh, the stage of love of God. Uh, that is the perfect prema pumatha maha Chaitanya Mahāprabhu has started to become mad after God, Krishna. That is perfect Sanātā. That is perfect. Uh, when Chaitanya Mahāprabhu showed by his Example, how he is mad after Krishna. He is Krishna himself, but he is teaching us how to become bhāva, buddha bhava samanita. He taught us. Therefore, Rupa Goswami offered his respect to Chaitanya Mahāprabhu. Krishnāya Krishna Chaitanya Nāmini. Sir, you are Krishna, but you have now assumed the name of Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Krishna Chaitanya, Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Nāmi. And you are so munificent, namo mahāvadānāya, Krishna Prīma Pradāya. So this bhāva stage can be attained if we follow Sri Chaitanya Mahāprabhu's way of life. And what is that? Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's way of life. Uh, his way of life he has described in his Sikha stock. Parang Vijayati Sri Krishna Sankirtana. He personally uh, performed Sankirtan Yagam. And he taught everyone Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama Iva Kivalam. Kalu nāstīva 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 gatiganna tha. 
that is this Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's contribution. They simply chant Hare Krishna mantra. Then all perfection will come to you. Ah. All perfection will come. Very simple thing. Ah. It does not cost anything. Ah. If you chant Hare Krishna mantra, ah. there is no loss on your part. It does not cost you. Uh, it does not make you obliged to undergo so many severe penalties. No. Uh, you can chant at any moment, Kirtaniya Sadhari. Uh, we are seeing practically these boys, although they are very young, you find they have got these beads. Uh, I have asked them to chant always. They are chanting as far as possible. Uh, so the, the, this process has to be adopted. If you actually serious to understand Krishna, and if you do not try to understand Krishna, then you are making suicide. Atmaha, they have been described in this Hastra, Atmaha. If I uh, cut my throat myself, then who can save me? Uh, the people do not understand it. Uh, but Narkamdas Thakur, who understands, he has sung, Hari Hari Vipale Janama Vai, Manusya Janama Paiya Radha Krishna Nabhari, Janiya Suniya Bhishokhai. So, it is our duty, of course, as servant of Krishna, to awaken everyone to Krishna consciousness by this process our oh, Sankirtan movement. But people should take it very seriously, that without taking to Krishna consciousness, uh, one is making suicide, he is cutting his own throat, or drinking poison. Uh, if you like to drink poison, no, no, nobody can check you, that's the fact. If you want to cut your throat yourself, nobody can check you. But this is not very good business. Uh, we have got this human form of life to understand Krishna. That is the our only business. Uh, that is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teaching. And Krishna is teaching personally in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, why should we not take advantage of these things and make our life successful? Uh, why we should be so much foolish? Uh, but they are, uh, I do not know, why they are not taking to Krishna consciousness. Uh, they will take to so many other bogus things, but they will not take uh, Krishna. Anyway, if one is serious, then he has to follow this principle. Vito rāga bhaya krodha. Bhaya krodha. Bhaya means fearfulness. That is one of the qualification of conditioned life. Ahara nidra bhaya maithun. Four things. So long we are in conditioned stage, this material body. These things are demands to eat and to sleep and to become uh, fearful, uh, defend, defend and uh, ahara nidra and maithun, sexual intercourse. These are the four demands of this material body. Uh, and everyone is busy. How to eat? Uh, you'll find in Bombay city so many restaurants. Uh, uh, every step a restaurant eating. Uh, that is going on every city all over the world, everywhere, eating. And then sleeping, nice apartment, and then defense measures, and then very uh, happily have sexual intercourse. These are the demands. So tapasya means to reduce this. That is tapasya. Tapasya, this is the general demand of the body. And if you want to be free from this material bondage, then you have to undergo tapasya. Tapasya means 
these demands of the body voluntarily reducing and coming to the point of me. That is liberation. That is tabasa, vitarāda bhaya kroda. Man maya māmu pāsita. But here, very nicely Krishna lived The It can be, tabasa can be executed very easily. If one becomes manmaya, always thinking of Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Ram. Manmaya. Uh, and Mahamupasita and taking shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna. Maam, uh, Maami Vajra Prapadnanti, Mayami Tan Karant. As soon as you become uh, submitted, Samasita Ji Padapallavam Plavam, Mahat Padam Punna Jasu Murari. This is the Description given in Bhagavad. Anyone who has taken shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna Murari, Krishna another name is Murari, his Purnagasa, if he chant Krishna's name, then at least he become pious. Because we are all sinful. By chanting Hare Krishna mantra offenselessly, you immediately become purified. If you do not commit again with sinful activities, therefore there are ten kinds of offenses. If we avoid the offenses and chant, then immediately we become mukta Immediately. But our habit, we have got to commit sinful activities. So this is not. Nāmanās balās jasahi pāpa buddhi. If one thinks that I am chanting Hare Krishna mantra, so my sinful result and actions are now nullified. Now and again, let me do it. Again I shall nullify. This is greatest offense. This is greatest offense. Out of ten offenses, this is the greatest offense. Namna bala jasahi papa would be. So everything requires sincerity. Otherwise things are not very difficult. Vitarāga bhaya krodha manmaya māmupāsita bahavo. Krishna says bahavo, not that one or two. Anyone, many who have adopted this means, then jñāna tapasā puta, by knowledge and tapasā they become purified. And then, what is that? madhābhāvam mādhāsā. Then come to the stage of bhava. So, to learn this art, one must be first, just like we are hearing. Uh, if one determines, so why not that art this means? Vitarāga bhaya krodha, jñāna tapasā puta. Why I am suffering? Uh, Krishna is advising. Why not take this step? Uh, then Krishna will help you. As soon as you decide to accept this means, Krishna will help you. Uh, Krishna will help you, He will give you good assistance. Krishna is with you. As soon as you decide, now Krishna you want to kindly help me. He is ready to help you. Guru Krishna Kripaya Pai Bhakti Lata Bhi. Jasya Devi Para Bhakti, Jatha Devi Tatha Guru. These are the definitions given in the Vedic literature. The Rupa Goswami is giving us direction how to come to the Bhava stage. Adu Sraddha. First of all, first thing is Sraddha. Sraddha means faith. Fun faith. Suddha has been explained by Chaitanya Chaitanya Amrita Kaur. Suddha sabde visa suvira nischa. Krishna bhakti kaile sabba karma krita. This is called Suddha. One when believes 
firmly as Krishna says, Sarvadalman Paritya Mami Tanga Sarvanga. One if he is firmly fixed up, yes. I surrender into Krishna, I get all perfection of life. That is called Sadhya. Uh, that is called Sadhya. That is explained by Chaitanya Chaitanya. Sadhya Sabde Vishas Sudhira Nishchaya. If I have got intention, uh, why not this, why not that, why not this, why not that, then that is not Sadhya. That is not Sadhya. So that means on conviction. So Sadhya Sabde, Tadu Sadhya. Then next day is Tatus Hadu Samma. If you have got Sadhya, yes, I want Krishna in this life. I must do anything required. That, that determination is called Sadhya. Then if you want to develop that determination, then you should associate with Sadhu. Who is sadhu? Ah, sadhu, bhajate imamanan ah. That is sadhu. Apite sudurachara bhajate imamanan ah. It doesn't matter if he has got some bodily uh, faults. He is accustomed uh, in a different atmosphere, even though he has got some habituated faults. But if his only qualification is only fixed term in devotion and service to Krishna, he is sadhu. Hmm. 